Hey basketball players and basketball fans, today we're going to be talking about the height of every position in basketball. Yes, there is a wide range of heights for different circumstances and everything and we're going to go over that today. So first, we're going to be starting off as point guards. What is the height of a point guard at the professional level? At the professional level, technically most positions I'm going to say right now could be played by pretty much anyone of any height. And even the center could technically be played by anyone of any height. However, there are heights that will come into play. So for example, at the point guard, generally speaking, you're going to be under the height of six foot three or six foot four. However, there are outliers like Ben Simmons of the 76ers, who is a bit taller, who can handle the ball very well, and is able to pass. Now, the benefits of being taller as a point guard is going to be the ability to be able to pass over top of defenders, being able to see over top of defenders, seeing the defense better, and that's why being taller as a point guard is going to be more beneficial. However, being a shorter point guard. So for example, myself, I did have chances of playing point guard, but generally I was classified as a swing guard, which is a point guard shooting guard mix, and I'm six foot two. Six foot two is still technically pretty tall for a point guard, but generally around average height in my opinion. At six foot two, you're going to need to use your strength. You should have a lot of speed, but you should be able to have the strength to really bully around the smaller point guards on the offensive and defensive side of things. And no matter what, as a point guard, you need to be a really good shooter and a really good ball handler and passer. The height, again, is going to be roughly around that six foot range. Next is the shooting guard. Shooting guard is my one of my favorite positions. And at the shooting guard, just like the name says, you're going to be shooting the ball majority of the time. You are going to be, in today's game, really sharing the ball handling uh, with the point guard. So keep that in mind. And shooting guards, traditionally and currently at the professional level, you're going to be really seeing them roughly in that six foot two to six foot six range. However, there are outliers. There are players who are going to be shorter, who fit into the shooting guard position. For example, Fred Van Fleet from the Toronto Raptors. He is what I would call a swing guard who can play point guard, shooting guard. And the Raptors do that with him and Kyle Lowry. They just say, you're both guards, go have fun. You're both going to be handling the ball. You're both going to be shooting the ball. And again, generally in that six foot two to six foot six range. But again, there are outliers like Fred Van Flee, who is around six feet tall, who fits into that shooting guard role just because of his ability to shoot the ball. However, at the shooting guard uh, position, you're probably really wanting to, if you're shorter, to be really quick and have that really great ability to freeze that defender. Now moving over to the small forward position. The small forward position is really starting to grow on me as, as a player because that position is now turning into a position where you could quite literally be able to play any position on the court. So at the small forward, technically speaking, you could have players ranging from around 6 feet tall to anywhere up to around 7 feet tall. That is the wide range of the small forward. However, generally speaking at the professional level, the small forward is going to be really stuck usually between that 6 foot 4, 6 foot 5 range up to around 6 foot 9 ish. Again, it's not a set, you're this size, you're that position. It really comes down to what the coach is trying to use you in, but also the skills that you possess to be able to play a certain possession. So for example, as a small forward, you need to be able to guard anybody on the court. You need to be able to play any position on the court. And what that means is if you're a small forward and you are six foot two, you really need to play big, in that low post, you need to know how to play like, for example, Kyle Lowry. I'm a huge Raptors fan, as you can tell, so I do use those players as examples a ton of times. 
It also helps that Nick Nurse's coaching style is very similar to mine. So that just, just so happens to happen sometimes. Now, moving over to the power forward position. The power forward position now currently in the NBA is getting shorter. It used to be a position where you were just one inch or a couple of inches off of your center. You guys were the big the big twin towers and the key. Going back to Tim Duncan and David Robinson. They were a massive duel in, in, the, in the low post. And that's how the game was played for so long. Just the two bigs, Rasheed Wallace and Ben Wallace. Just the two bigs. Bigs on the court sit in their butts in the key, but it's changing. Back when I was a kid, if you were a power forward at the pro level, you're looking at six foot eight, six foot nine ish to about seven foot one. Now it's getting shorter. You're getting different kinds of players. You're getting Tucker from the Rockets, who used to also play for the Raptors. Um, he's like, I think he's like listed at 6'6", and he's playing power forward majority of the time. And then there's teams like the Rockets that just don't even have a center, really. But moving on to the center, what you're going to be looking at as a center at the pro level, again, it is seems to be getting shorter, but I'm going to tell you right now, the center position is always going to be a bigger player. It doesn't matter what the Houston Rockets are doing. I don't know how that experiment's going to go, but we'll just have to watch. But uh, traditional centers are, in my opinion, the best. The ones who can get you the rebounds, the low post points, the offensive and defensive boards, the blocked shots. However, I'm going to add this right now. If you can be a Shaq type center, somebody who can power the low post like Shaq, but then have the ability to move out towards the three-point line like Dirk Nowinski and shoot the three-point shot, you're going to be one hell of a killer center someday if you could get both of those skills together combined with a massive frame. You're going to be an amazing center. And what does the height of a center really come down to? Right now, I'm going to say between six foot six up to infinity. However... Back in the day, back when I was growing up, there was players like Yao Ming. I was in high school when he was coming into the league. And you're looking at back then, as big as you could get. As big. I don't care. Seven foot one, Shaq, go. Seven foot six, Yao Ming, go. If you were massive, that was the game. That was that was that was the position I played up until later in high school. I was six feet tall in grade six, six foot two in grade eight. I was a Big player. I haven't grown since grade 8, which is sad. I've grown this way. But either way, center is, in my opinion, the best position on the court. You get to be more physical than any other player. You get to really just take it down to players. You're allowed to just... You're allowed to just one dribble pound right into the body and go up. Man, I love that position. I wish I was 7 feet tall. Um, but if I was 7, I would be... If it wasn't for injuries, I'd be in the NBA, maybe, possibly, maybe at least one game. But if I was seven feet tall, 100%, I would have been, I would have been there. But either way, <laughs> either way, uh, right now, six foot six plus, generally speaking, if you want to play in the NBA at the center position, you're usually looking at six ten and plus. Um, if you're up in the seven foot six range and you, you're traditionally going to be more lanky and if that's the case you need to start bulking up but not to the point of shack. Uh, I'm talking about muscle mass and really looking at learning how to do a really good shot. Shooting is very important right now in the NBA. I've said this in so many videos but make sure to learn how to shoot the ball at a high level. Anyways, I hope that this video has helped you understand the game of basketball a little bit better. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time.